So I'm sure you're now convinced you have to test your spreadsheet in order to avoid horrible problems. But then of course the question is, what to test? If we look at a spreadsheet, where to start and what are those typical situations, typical formulas that could go wrong? Let's have another look at our hardware example. If we look at this example, if you download it from the edX website, then you can have a look with me at what could exactly go wrong. For example, if you look at this margin formula. What do we know about a margin? Are there specific rules that hold for margins? Well, if you think about it a little bit, probably th this margin should be bigger than zero. Probably we don't want to sell things for a lower price than we have bought them for. There are some businesses that do that. Maybe you have a super, super special promotion, but I'm just going to guess for a normal company, the rule is your margin has to be above zero. So you try it. Download the spreadsheet from the edX website and have a look at what are typical testings. This is not so an exercise that you have to fill out. I just hope you're going to keep a list on a piece of paper. And then in this video, maybe I will talk about some of the tests that you had also thought about. So let's look at this margin. You could say that this margin, the fact that it has to be above zero, is some sort of a sanity check. Does my spreadsheet make sense? And these are common, these type of sanity checks. You have knowledge about your business domain and you know what typical rules should hold. And those rules help and those rules are exactly what you want to test. So what else could we test? If we look at this percentage here, that's another thing where if you see a percentage, you think, hey, I know something about a percentage. Probably the percentage should be between zero and 100% because that's how percentages work. So if you see something like that, immediately your test, your test sense should go off in the back of your head and you think, ha, a percentage. I know something about that. I know what boundaries hold for a percentage. And that's another type of checking your data. If you see a specific value, you think about what are logical boundaries for currencies, Often zero is a logical boundary because you don't want to sell less than zero. Or if you're, as we do here, you're counting a number of items, zero might also be a good boundary because we don't want to sell, we can sell less than zero items. Can you think of more? Are there other tests on your list, on your sheet of paper where you were taking notes? Do you have others? Here's another one that you could try. The sum of those percentages that we're calculating here should be 100% because we divide all our profit over different items that we're selling. So if you group all of them together, it should add up to 100% or something is wrong with our formulas or our input. And this is what we call a totals check. We add everything together and then the total should be 100%. That's usually a totals check, or the total should be equal to whatever we are selling. And there's something more we can do in this example, in addition to the totals check. What we could do is calculate the totals in a different way. What we could do is sum the values here, but we also sum all the turnovers together, and that should also be 100%. So now we calculate our values in a different way and we see here that we also get 100%. And this is called a cross check, where we calculate the same result in two ways. And then if we make a mistake in one of them, as you see here, we immediately see that those values don't add up anymore. One of them is 100% and the other is not. This is called a cross check. And this is very common in financial statements where you calculate your values di in this direction and in this direction. And then you make sure in the end they actually calculate the same thing. So these are a bunch of ways that you can test your spreadsheet. Sanity checks, boundary checks and total checks.